Hi there! Welcome to Hourglass Workshops and Conversations with Nancy and Cheryl. I'm Nancy. And I'm Cheryl. Um, we had a discussion in our book club today and we came up with several uh, new ideas and we want to bring up a list of uh, three different possibilities and this is the second one of the possibilities of kind of how to uplift your life and open yourself up a little bit more. Um, and you want to talk about it a little bit? Um, the second thought was don't add anything to your schedule this week. For one week, look at your schedule and don't add another thing. Don't add another appointment. Don't add a lunch with friends. Don't add another thing. So that basically the idea is that you are making space for the possibilities in mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. Because if you're so overburdened, um, there are times that my schedule is so busy that even fun things become an obligation. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I know that I'm burnt out, you yeah. know. And well, and, and women, as women, we have a tendency to overcommit, overplan. We've got to-do lists that are just huge and unending, and our day is crammed full. Um, we're not really good at saying no to other people, and, you know, as we've, we've talked before, in um, prior videos about um, uh, a woman's inability to say no to others basically means that we don't allow ourselves to say yes to ourselves. That's so true. And you know, and 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 so we, so we get stuck. So so try this week, really try to you know. I mean, you've got to got work obligations, relation, you know, work with your children, activities or whatnot. But you know, if they come. You know, the school says, oh, we need somebody to do a dozen cupcakes. Don't volunteer. Right. You know, yeah. if you, somebody wants to squeeze in a lunch because, oh, we haven't seen each other in so long. Don't do it this week. Yeah. You know. Um, well, and a, and a simple, no, that just doesn't work for me. Yeah. It's a perfectly respectable answer. You don't need to go on to great detail about, oh, I'm so overworked, blah, 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 and, and continue on. I think just a simple no. And Well, and I think if you go for a week and actually actually do this mm -hmm. which I'm gonna do and I have like a crazy busy schedule so I'm gonna do this this week I'm not gonna take on one more thing mm -hmm. even if it's somebody saying well stop by and have dinner stop by and have a glass of wine you know I'm gonna say no this week and then at the end of the week I'm gonna assess mm -hmm. okay did that give me more quality in my life or less mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, did it make me happy? Did it make me feel more rested? Did I do I feel more centered, or did something wonderful pop up? Yeah, um, I, I we had a situation a couple of weeks ago where one weekend we didn't have anything planned, and normally, you know, come Tuesday that's rare Wednesday, for you. Yeah, usually, you know, come Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, we're booked for the weekend, and uh, we didn't have anything. And and uh, my my nephew uh, who lives back east flew out for a business trip unexpectedly and asked if we were available that weekend. It was perfect. Picked him up at the airport, he spent, had dinner with us, we had a great evening, spent the night, and then... Did you play golf with him? Yeah, we played golf with, with him and my son the next day, and, uh, and my husband, and we had a blast. It was so much fun. Had we booked something, that would, that would never have happened, right. and, and it was just a special treat. So, so open up some space yeah. for something new. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and let us know. So until next time, check us out on hourglassworkshops.com. Bye for now. Bye.